Hey, what's going on guys? John here and I hope you guys saw the unboxing video earlier. This is going to be the first setup of the HomePod mini itself. For all of you guys that just got the HomePod mini, I got the white one here. So it looks really nice and I think the LED at the top is just really beautiful. I guess for the last video inside, I missed a lot of the pamphlets and charging cables and whatnot. But just a quick glimpse at it. Um, right over here, we do have this braided cable. At the end of it would be a USB type C, which is different from the original HomePod itself. But other than that, guys, there's not really much else so we're gonna put this aside right over here for a bit and then let's take a look at the home pod itself so for the home pod looks really beautiful it's literally the size of like you know my hands or something smaller than my hands uh comparing it right next to the iphone 12 mini is very similar both are very mini devices uh, this is the height and this is the width just for comparison right over there guys uh but let's go ahead and just set this bad boy up and uh, let's see how it looks up so very simple all you need to do is just bring the phone right next to to the HomePod itself, you guys will see something very similar to this. Uh, right after this message right here, just click set up, and then uh, you guys will see over here that it asks you, are you gonna be setting up for the living room, the home, uh, wherever you guys are going for, the basement, bathroom, bedroom, a dining table, or uh, whatever you guys want to set it up for. But it's very simple, all you need to do, uh, in this case, I'm gonna be setting it up for my living room, and then we're gonna ask it to recognize my voice, so it's trained it to do that. Use personal requests. And we'll use the one from this iPhone. Uh, very simple over here. I don't want it to transfer any of my settings, so we'll X that out. And I guess, oh no, it's actually telling me that I have to uh, do the transfer of my phone over here. So center the HomePod in the frame, uh, which is really cool. So all you need to do is just do this. And the HomePod automatically connects to your phone. now. I think this process is going to take a little while. As you guys can see here, it says that the HomePod is setting up right now. So I think it's gonna take approximately five to 10 minutes and we'll come back and see exactly how it works with the iPhone. All right guys, so we are just about done here. The HomePod is ready. Simply all you guys need to do is just click the done button and I think your device and the phone is now set up. So it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and swipe up. And guys, I don't have Apple Music. I'm more of a Spotify kind of guy. So this is why the HomePod, just an FYI, is not going to work with the HomePod mini itself. Now you guys will see on the official Apple website like Pandora and Apple Music and a couple other services it does work with the HomePod mini and Spotify is apparently working on a deal with Apple right now to bring this service over to them. A lot of the features that you guys will see will require you to activate Apple Music and if you guys got the iPhone 12, it means the Apple Music is included or it's free for the first couple months or so. So uh, take advantage of that if you're picking up the HomePod mini as well. But let's go ahead and test out Siri over here. So let's call her name? Hey Siri, what time is it? First things it's first. 3:52 p.m. So first things first, you guys will notice that Siri does not activate on my phone and it's decided to activate on the HomePod itself. Uh, you guys will see that the surround sound is amazing. And once we do activate her, uh, the whole top starts glowing. So let's try that one more time. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? It's currently cloudy and 11 degrees. Yeah, so rain take a look at the top right here. It looks really cool uh, while she's talking. And right over here, you guys will see that I do also have my Google Nest Mini. And this works in the exact same way. The AI part of it, I do have to give it up to Google themselves. But when it comes to music, this is where the HomePod Mini takes the lead. So let's go ahead and try to call both of them at the same time. Hey Google, what time is it? Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 3.53 p.m. So let's turn Mini up a little bit here. Both of them are Mini, by the way. So uh, this is the Nest Mini right over here. And this is uh, the HomePod Mini right over here. And this over here is the iPhone 12 Mini. So three Minis right next to each other. So this isn't gonna be a comparison between both of the assistants right now. This is gonna be safe for another video, but we're just gonna test them out anyways. Uh, one time for you guys. Hey Google, when does the iPhone 12 come out? On the website apple.com, they say, pre-orders for iPhone 12 begin Friday, October 16th. Hey Siri, when does the iPhone 12 come out? I found some web results. I'll send them to John's iPhone. Yeah, so it's sent to my iPhone right over here, uh, which is really interesting. I guess Apple with Apple, it works really well. It's just really integrated with each other. But again, in the end, 
I give the AA part to Google. All right, so one final thing you guys probably do want to know is if you do have Spotify, how do you get it to work with your HomePod? Well, AirPlay 2 exists for a reason. You guys can simply just jump on into the Spotify app itself right over here and tap on to AirPlay from this iPhone. Uh, once you guys go on to there, just tap on Bluetooth and you will see your living room set up. Now, once there is a check mark there, tap on that, jump back out and just click play on the actual device itself and it will start playing on the home pod so uh, very interesting and of course i can't really show you guys in this video just a quick little glimpse right here of the sound but i'll give you guys an impression that it is very good the sound quality is amazing now if you want to really know a comparison rating between the nest mini and the home pod mini i'm going to give it roughly about an 8 out of 10 whereas at the nest mini i'm going to be giving it roughly about 5 out of 10 in terms of sound quality so i hope you guys get a good comparison of those two anyways this should wrap it up for this quick little video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure you guys hit that subscribe and that bell notification right up top there this should end it once again peace out